OK, so now we're given a rational expression that has a monomial at the top, but we have a binomial that is separated by subtraction in our denominator. So first of all, do not make this mistake and try to break this up as 4x squared minus 2x over 2x. A lot of students will make this mistake, and I'm just going to go up front with it. We cannot separate across subtraction and addition. We can separate across multiplication and division, but not across addition and subtraction. So do not make that mistake. Um, and you can see, because on my last video, I, I broke it up, but that was because it was across multiplication. So what are we going to do then for this problem? And remember, in my intro video, I talked about uh, using factoring. Whenever we can factor something, we always want to be able to see what can we factor it out. So on this 2x, I can't do any factoring. However, my denominator, you see that I can factor out um, a 2x. So let's just rewrite this. So I have 2x divided by, now you can see that these share my, these both share a 2x. And when I factor out a 2x, I'm left with a 2x minus 1. Now if you want to check your answer, you can always go back and apply distributive property to make sure that you did it correctly. So by applying this, I'll use a distributive property, so I get 4x squared minus 2x which is our answer. So you can see why what, when you're factoring out, you're really just dividing out that term. Now you can see that I'm across multiplication. So now I can break this up. So if I wanted to, you don't have to, but you could break this up as to 2x over 2x times, uh, let's see, over um, times 1 over 2x minus 1. So now what we can do is we can break this up into, uh, into our multiplication. So now what we're going to look at is you can see, well, this 2x, because you could say that's going to be broken up by 1. Now you can see that this, these can now divide out to 1. So therefore, it's just going to leave us with a final solution of 1 over 2x minus 1. And that's going to be your final uh, rational expression. There you go. Hope it helped. Thanks.